one of our other icons and trailblazers, Zanino Conde. She was the first black member of the provincial parliament and she was also the first black cabinet minister. Her body of work is so impressive. And again, these are people who have dedicated not just one decade, not two decades, not three decades, not four decades, five decades, six decades of work to help to develop this country into the beautiful garden of all kinds of people representing all communities. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Zanina Conde. Well, good morning. Uh, I have to tell you that when I came down to see this, I was shocked. We have been listening for months about fires, about storms, from every part of Canada and beyond. And immediately those people are taken into municipal buildings or into schools or into centers somewhere. And we have been caring about refugees that are coming to Canada. And I know from the friends that I've made that some of our Ukrainians who have been here have been taken into centers. And our people are on the street. Now, I am not in the country. I was born in this country, in this city of immigrant parents. And we have always supported each other in being fair and expecting for each other what we have for ourselves and extending our gifts so that others could profit from them. And yet we have black people, let me be clear, black people sleeping on the street, women trying to cover themselves adequately while they sleep. And I must tell you, I am offended. This is not the Canada that I went to school and learned with. This is not the Canada that I taught hundreds and hundreds of children to be able to, be, to contribute to. This is not the Canada that I went to the University of Toronto and taught teachers how to teach so that they could make them welcome. This is not that Canada and I want to no, no, no. I insist that my tax dollars be spent to give equal service to my people. And once again, I have to talk about my people in a country where I've been raised, in a city where I've been raised living with Italians and Jews and Ukrainians and white people and black people and people from all parts of this world. You have, we have allowed my people to be so disrespectful. I will not stop talking about this. I will not rest until they get everything. Thank you very much.